There are two types of drop-down menu buttons that can be included in a PDF file. Those two types of drop-down menus are the drop-down menu or the list box. The difference between these two things is that on a drop-down menu only one selection can be made. In a list box, multiple selections can be made. We will be creating a list box for this particular document. In order to make multiple selections in a list box, on a PC, hold down the control and click on the selections. On a Mac, hold down command and click on the selections. Go to tools, down to forms, and down to edit. Go to add new field and click on list box. Draw out the desired size and location of the list box. This will probably need to be resized once we finish. In the field name, Type in what this list box will contain and click on All Properties. Under Tool Tips, you may want to give a tip to the user so they'll know what to do. Under Appearance, you're probably going to want to add a border color so that the box can be seen. Change the font size to the largest size available and then you can redo it as you go. Under Options, this is where we will add our options that will be included in the list box. Type in the first thing on your list and click Add. You will notice it drops to the list below. You do not have to close the box to add additional things. Go ahead and type in the name for the next thing that's on your list and click Add. Continue to do this until you've added all of the elements that are to be contained in the list box. Once you have typed in all of your choices, check the multiple selection box, which will enable users to make multiple selections. If your selections need to be reordered, simply click on a selection that needs to move and click either the up, down, or if it's a selection that you no longer need, click on delete. Notice the size of the text in the box. I'm going to go back and readjust my font size so that everything fits in the box properly. I'm also going to change the font so that it stands out. I'll close my box and then I'll go back in and I'll readjust the list box size so that only one choice shows up at a time. Click close form editing. Hover over the box and you'll notice you get the arrows up and down that you can click on to make your selections. 